The Littlest Bunny in Boise. Sign says, Welcome to Boise. Not long ago, in a land you might know, lived a girl named May and a boy named Joe. They were moving to Boise and longed to explore, make new friends, have adventures, and many things more. It says Boise Pet Store. On the day before Easter, they rode into town. They went to the pet store and looked all around. There in the front was a pen full of bunnies. The small ones were cute and the big ones were funny. They played with the bunnies and thought for a bit. And then they agreed on the most perfect fit. The littlest bunny with the sweetest small hop. He is ours, May announced. Let's call him Flop. Do you guys see Flop? No. So Flop joined the family that sunny spring day. The littlest bunny was now home to stay. They played with the bunny until it was late, then settled Flop into his cozy snug crate. May gave Flop a kiss and Joe patted his head, and then, and then the two children both climbed into bed. A soft evening breeze blew in through the window, and May and Joe smiled as they slept on their pillows. But Flop had no time now to close his own eyes. He was preparing an Easter surprise. He was quite little, that much was true. But tonight our dear Flop had a big job to do, for he had a secret he hadn't let show. He was the Easter Bunny, and he had to go. A magical wind gave his whiskers a tickle, his nose how it twitched, his ears how they wiggled. Soon, Flop was quite different than ever before, and he couldn't wait, not for one moment more. He raced through the house and out into the night, to where he had hidden his eggs out of sight. His marvelous burrow held Easter eggs plenty, to be quite exact, nine million and twenty. He packed up the eggs, he looked at the map, he fastened his goggles and his red flying cap. Then Flop hopped right into his hot air balloon, and soon he was soaring as high as the moon. As he watched his first stop grow nearer and nearer, his big Boise mission became even clearer. First, Flop balanced eggs on a tall building top. This is Camel's Back Park. Have you been there? Then he went to the park, spreading eggs as he hopped, and then he dashed off for an Easter home run. Memorial Stadium. Then quietly hid chocolate eggs, one by one. Boise Public Library. With big bounces here and giant jumps there, Flop had eggs for Boise everywhere. West, east. He flew to the east, to the south, west, and north. He crisscrossed the city. He raced back and forth. Warm Springs, Maple Grove, and 8th Street got treats. Then Quail Ridge and Harris Ranch, too, were complete. Hyde Park, Surprise Valley, the long list went on. Flop was delivering his eggs until dawn. Finally, Flop found his very last stop. He came to your house with a bounce and a hop. And there he delivered his Easter surprises. So many eggs of all shapes and sizes. And when he was done, he stopped for a rest. Yes, yeah, surely this Easter was one of his best. A little newspaper and it says Boise News. See some of the eggs? The morning sun rose on that bright Easter day. It was time to wake up for Joe and for May. But when they went over to find their friend Flop, the door was wide open, his crate was unlocked. There were eggs to discover, as all ch children know. But we just want Flop, cried May and cried Joe. They looked under their beds, they looked all around, but the littlest bunny just couldn't be found. But whose goggles were these? Who unfolded this map? Do you see him right here? Then from round the corner came a faint tap, tap, tap. They rushed and they stumbled. It had to be him. And there they found baskets. And something else was tucked in? It's Flop, they cried out and held him so close. Joe tickled his ears and May kissed his pink nose. 
Fluff hugged them back, his new friend so dear. Happy Easter to Boise. See you next year. Bronco Stadium. There's the Capitol building. Did you find all the Easter eggs hidden in Boise? Look back through the book to see if you can spot all 20 eggs. Give up? Check the answer answers on the last page. Feel free to play this video again to find all the eggs throughout the book. Here's all the answers. Casey had trouble. Did you find them all? The end.